There are multiple catalysts coming for Tesla stock this year. However, um, today we're talking about three of them, the Cybertruck, the used car business, and Hertz, the rental car company. The Cybertruck upcoming production was highlighted in Tesla's Q1 earnings call. Elon Musk mentioned that it takes time to get the Cybertruck manufacturer's line going. Since it is a radical product, the Cybertruck supposedly is not made the same way other cars are made. One of the reasons for the delay is that the truck is made out of stainless steel, which costs more than materials that are usually used for auto manufacturing. Now, it requires special welding techniques. Gary Black and Kathy Wood have been looking forward to the Cybertruck truck production and delivery. According to Gary Plack, the Cybertruck is one of Tesla's important catalysts. There are already 1.3 million pre-orders for this truck. Tesla is always on the forefront of innovation and cutting-edge technology. So recently, CarMax, United States' largest used car retailer, has observed a significant increase in consumers' interest in electric vehicles, particularly Tesla's. According to CarMax, searches for electric vehicles doubled between February 2022 and February 2023. This spike in interest was initially detected in February and March of the previous year. Peak surge interest occurred in October, which was around the time when the new rules for the US federal EV tax credits were being implemented. Based on February 2023 sales data, all of the four of Tesla's lineup in electric vehicles ended up on CarMax top list. The Model 3 and the Model Y were top two most popular electric cars at CarMax. The average price at CarMax for the Model 3 was listed at $37,000, while the Model Y averaged around $47,807. The Model Y, which was seven on the firm's list, had a average selling price of $72,136. And the Model S, which came in at number eight, averaged $63,330. $31. Tesla also lowered prices again last week by $1,000 on the seven-seater Model Y in the US. The Model Y is priced at $49,990 and qualifies for the $7,500 tax credit. Tesla only delivered 10,695 units of the Model Y and three vehicles in the last quarter. Hertz, the rental car business, has been benefiting from the recent price cuts by Tesla. The rental car company sees 2 million EV rentals since 2023, five times more from the previous year. At the end of the first quarter, EVs accounted for 10% of Hertz fleet. Hertz aims at 25% by the end of next year. The weakness has reignited conversations about CEO Elon Musk divided the attention. John McNeil, who previously served as president at Tesla, says that Elon is not at all distracted. On Tesla's earnings call, he said that Elon answered questions at a deep level. Elon is involved, he said. He always has a lot going on and is incredible at managing his schedule and staying involved on key topics. He said, I think anybody in the car business would love a 36% comp in a quarter. Elon has a lot of margins to play with. His thought on the delay in several components of productions like the FSD. McNeil said that Musk is good at delivering on promises but not good on time. In the long term, the EV maker is huge and as the market leader, Tesla has market leading margins. So as an investor, he said, you are investing into a space that could be 10 times larger in five years than it is today. And when the question was asked about moving engineers around from SpaceX to Tesla, Neil said that these engineers have changed how the Model Y is produced. So I hope you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe so the algorithm can show this to more people. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.